Hello YouTube, I'm Dr. Tactical and the doctor will see you now. Welcome back. So today I've got something really interesting to take a look at. It is a pistol caliber carbine style handgun. So this is the CSV made by a company called Czech Weapons. Um, I know what you're thinking. Czechs? What do the Czechs know about weapons? And I, I was thinking the same thing, but I guess they figured they'd try their hands at it and see if they're any good. Not surprisingly, this does not suck. Now, I have to tell you, I have not fired this gun, and this is kind of a unicorn. That's kind of one of the exciting things about having it right now, is that not a lot of people have their hands on it. This is on loan to me. Uh, my friend Neil at Gun Tree Club of Maryland hooked me up. Thank you for hooking a doctor up. Um, and I said, um, right afterwards. And he hates when he watches these and I say, um, sorry, Neil. Anyway, this is a really well-built, uh, weapon and you can really, it, it just exudes quality. And, and I love that. I love when things are well-built and they feel, you know, everything's smooth. And when it goes into your hands, it just feels like it belongs there. And I'm pretty damn sure that that's why Neil lent it to me because, Every time he lends me something like this, it ends up in my collection later. However, joke's on him because this is not on the Maryland Registry yet, so I can't own this right now. Uh, this doesn't go on, I think, until August 1st of 2022, and that's probably when I'll buy it. Anyway, <laughs> this is a really nice gun, and I have behind me several other pistol caliber carbine style handguns that, uh, that I happen to really like. And so we'll sort of look at it side by side with some of those. This, a uh, couple of things about it. It is a direct blowback. So, you know, there's nothing special to mitigate um, recoil, no roller or anything, no rotating anything. So it's just flat out, it's a, it's a very simple setup. Uh, this does not have a brace or a stock should you decide to SBR it. Um, but it does have a Picatinny tail, a tail, <laughs> a Picatinny rail, in this case happens to be the tail. Um, so it takes very little just to slip something on there. It has an interesting quad rail up in the front. It's, it's small, but it's, uh, it's actually ergonomic. It actually feels good. Now I say that, but I've never fired this gun and it could very well be a cheese grater and really suck if I try and hold it, at which point you could just put an angled foregrip or something up there if you want it. Um, oh, speaking of angled foregrips, interesting. Now, as you know, should you decide not to uh, SBR this, you certainly can't have a um, a uh, direct down type of a, a handheld device up in the front. I'm blanking on the name of it, but it doesn't matter. So this gun, the I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> it takes the magazine up here in the in the magwell. And then you can keep a spare magazine in the back. And this actually is very ergonomic, the Magwell, as sort of an angled foregrip. Um, so this is, this is a, a really nice ergonomic setup. It almost reminds me of something else. Something in the Microni category, or whatever this thing was called. This is an updated version of that forgot what it's called the micro conversion kit the mck so basically with this what we have is a glock sitting in here and i don't know if i mentioned this these are glock magazines so that's pretty nice and now this only takes gen 4 or higher glock magazines because you need to have the uh notches on both sides But the Micro-Roni, since this is nothing more than a Glock 23 that's encased inside of this housing, it lets you put a spare magazine up in the front, which is kind of nice also. Um, so similar setup. So again, what I was getting at before is this is kind of one of my favorite types of guns because I think it lends itself to so many different uses. When it comes to home defense, uh, I don't think you can do better. 
whether it's pistol caliber or rifle caliber, that just depends on your environment that you're in, and that's a decision that you'll make. But uh, one of the advantages to a pistol caliber, of course, is your ability to consolidate ammo and to really hoard big time. I thank all you who are doing that. Um, like, I'm not part of the cause, or the problem, I should say. Anyway, um, sorry, Neil. The, let's see. What else I want to say on this? It, the uh, advantage to this is that it's small. So if you're going around corners and what have you, you're not going to have somebody like with a long gun be able to easily wrestle this away from you. That's one. Two, if you have a pistol brace on this, which I don't own that yet. Oh my gosh, look at this. This also is a check gun, apparently. Huh, they must have tried this before. Anyway. So if you have some type of a pistol brace that you want to use on your arm or, you know, as a cheek weld, um, by having that third point of contact, it really increases the accuracy significantly. So that's a huge plus um, with a pistol caliber carbine style handgun or short barrel uh, rifle, depending how you set it up. That's a huge advantage over, say, um, just a handgun because your accuracy and your ability to shoot out to distance goes up considerably. So those two advantages right there really are, are nice. Now, a couple things specifically about this gun. It has, as I said, a direct blowback. The charging handle is ambidextrous. It comes out, you put it on the other side. Um, as I mentioned, it's got a Picatinny rail on back. It's got the quad rail. It's got a Picatinny rail on top. Uh, comes with these sights, which are, which obviously are decent, and I'll explain why when I just glance in the box in a few minutes. The safety is unique. The safety is a push button safety that when the safety button is in the middle position, uh, so in other words, equally in from both sides, it the safety is on, but just push it to the other extreme on either side, and the safety is off. Um, you know, I, I heard people complaining about that. I actually really liked that. I thought that was that was nice and very tactile. I have no problem with that at all. Again, I haven't fired this gun, but just as far as playing around and dry firing, it's nice. Um, so ambidextrous, not really. Uh, as far as the magazine release, um, this has a magazine release on the hand on the uh, grip where you have your extra magazine. It's the, the, the thread pitch, as I understand, on the front of this, I've been told is some really um, uh, unusual type of pitch, and it's going to be very difficult to suppress, which is a problem because I really think these type of guns are built to be suppressed. It's really, again, I, I know that the, um, uh, what's his name? The guy, the poet, uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember his name offhand. But he's a big advocate for not suppressing uh, home defense guns. I disagree because I'm not going to put a headset on in an emergency situation when I'm running around, and, you know, trying to protect everybody. And having a suppressor on there will protect my ears and help me maintain situational awareness. Um, as we all know, it's not a silencer. It's not going to completely make everything quiet. So it's not like I'm going to be able to sneak up on the next guy if there's multiple <laughs> multiple threats. But it's nice to be able to maintain my hearing and to be aware if there is somebody else around for me to be able to stay on point. Um, so, I mean, it, it's just a very, very nice gun. Uh, but again, direct blowback. So it's, it's, it's got a high price tag for what it is. This is, this is I believe, MSRP is around $2,000. Um, so I, I, I've seen it for uh, under 1900 a little under. But nonetheless, for what it is, it, it's a very high quality build, as I mentioned, um, but it doesn't have anything to mitigate recoil. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, you know, when I look through at the other PCCs, I'm sorry, PCC style handguns that I have here, um, this is, as many of you have seen in a previous video, this is a Copperhead, um, the K version of it. So you can suppress this. Um, <laughs> the stuff that's riding on top of it, by the way, those of you who, before you comment on the magnifier, why the hell would I have a magnifier on something like this? 
I zero my, my uh, PCCs at 50 um, yards. So when I'm doing 50 yards, the, uh, my, my eyes are only so good. So by putting the magnifier on there, I can not have to keep bringing things back and forth, back and forth. I can look at it and I can zero it. And this is still on for that. But it's actually kind of nice to have and it flips out of the way. Um, but it's not, you know, for home defense, it's, it's really not, not much of a necessity. Um, but I do love this. Um, I wish this, I wish that that took Glock magazines. That's really a nice addition. Um, so I, I, I really promised myself I would keep this video short. So I think we're going to pretty much wrap it up there. I'll show you briefly the box that the, uh, CSV nine came in. It's pretty fancy. Um, so in the box, we've got the direct, you know, the directions. And then this is what I was mentioning. Well, what's this thing? Oh, this is just propaganda for the company. And then in here, it came with a target, which was uh, 15, 15 meters, which is about approximately 50 feet. So this, I am assuming, is with the, the sights that come on it. So whoever shot it did a decent job. So the gun has been fired, apparently. My one gripe with the box, and by the way, I forgot to mention this with the Walther video I did recently. And I've, as some of you know, I bought two Walthers within like a week period. Um, how can you put together a nice gun like this, a high quality gun, or like Walther, and go through the trouble of, of, of charging a you know significant amount for it, and not put a sticker in there. Anyway, so I don't have any stickers from those to put up. This one I couldn't use the sticker anyway because I'm not the rightful owner yet. Um, anyway, that's the CSV9 for today. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch it. Uh, I look forward to talking to you shortly. This is Dr. Tactical. Dr. Tactical, out. <laughs>